mob sets mosque on fire in Madhya Pradesh, India. On May 16th, violent mob set ablaze a mosque in Madhya Pradesh, India. The mosque was located in a predominantly Muslim neighborhood. Rioters threw stones at Muslim homes and assaulted Muslim citizens. The riots reportedly started after a Hanuman, who is a Hindu monkey god, idol, was installed in the area next to a Muslim holy site. Suraj Kumar uh, Verm, superintendent of police, stated, We are looking at the CCTV footage to identify the miscreants who desecrated the mosque. A total of four FIRs, or police reports, were registered after the attack. Wait, what was the problem? There was a Hanuman statue next to the mosque? So there isn't a ton of information about this out there in English, but so there was a Hanuman statue that was put next to a, um, I think it's called like a, a, a da, Darga. Um, no, I pronounced that wrong. The da, da, da Gar. It's, it's like some sort of shrine, some sort of Muslim shrine. And they were putting a Hanuman statue there. And the way I interpreted the news that I was reading about this was that it seemed like an incitement, basically. It kind of reminded me of how in Bangladesh um, in the last fall, um, we saw people planting um, blasphemy in um, the uh in in muslim areas to then incite violence against the hindus it seemed it seemed like an incitement to to riot by intentionally going to put this hindu thing in the muslim holy site and then um subsequently uh there was you know uh, scuffles or violence between these two communities and while this happened thrones were thrown at the stones were thrown at the mosque um, there was people who were assaulted. There was at least one young man who had to be taken to the hospital um, in urgent care. And the mosque was even set on fire. Um, wait, so you have to be now careful not to have um, a statue next to you? That's not, that seems like ridiculous. Like, you have to, like, you better make sure if you have a mosque, there's not a single statue right next to your mosque, like, or else your, your mosque could go no, on fire. You, oh, <laughs> you're not, no, you're not understanding. It's like, um, sorry, I was looking for Hanuman, they, that's why they were specifically looking. This, this, hmm. this, this idol was like planted next to the shrine on purpose to cause problems under the pretext of like creating a communal situation. And then but it how would that situation. how would that create a conflict that's what i'm trying to figure out like well, what if, if what it, do you mean it's i mean installing an idol at a muslim shrine is not going to go over well muslim mosque um no it, it it's it's a specific thing called like a a, a, a d-a-g-a-r-h i'm not sure how to pronounce it but it's kind of like a shrine that sounds like sure so, like okay you can't do exactly. that. Exactly. So exactly, exactly. You can't do that. So they're like, you can't go bring your idols here into our holy area. And then it evolved into a big kerfuffle. And in that kerfuffle, oh. there were wait, wait, wait. You're saying that... oh, okay. Wait. So the Muslim, so the Muslims in this story specifically, they were trying to, they were like trying to be like the Hindus did this, but they did them themselves to act like the Hindus did them, so to get Muslims offended. So this is like some 3D no. level. Okay, so 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 no no. This is what I understood. Okay, so did some Muslims put a Hanuman statue next to their Islamic stuff to make Muslims angry? That look what the Hindus are doing because they're bringing because no uh, because because why would a Hindu get upset that there's a Hanuman statue next to an if Islamic? You're not stuff? understanding me from the beginning. Okay, it's a okay. Muslim shrine. I that's what I am pointing. It this should be something that gets Muslims offended, not Hindus offended. Oh my god. Okay, well, regardless of whether the shrine itself is shirky or not, it was yeah. Hindus that brought the idol into this Muslim darga or whatever you call it. Yeah. And that's what but, caused it. So it was not Muslims planting it, it was Hindus planting it. 
and then Muslims got upset, and then there was a war. Yes. There was a okay, so that that's exactly what I'm saying. Because this is something that would get uh, Muslims upset, not the Hindus, okay? Because this is shirky based on Islamic standards. Anyways, it doesn't matter. Yeah, no, but Anyways. you were saying it was the Muslims that were planting it. I thought there was some, I thought, yes, I thought there was some 3D level chess being played here, right? Um, by some people, by Muslims, to start making other Muslims upset, thinking that the Hindus did it, and then that started the fight. I thought that was the story. I misunderstood the story. Okay, fine. But here's a Hanuman. Oh, wait, for people who don't know, it's a monkey god. Look at this. It's so cute. By the way, people make it, make fun of Hanuman for thinking like, oh my God, they, they worship a monkey god. Uh, that's so ridiculous. But honestly, it's it's not more ridiculous than other things that people worship. Look at it. It's actually, it's actually cute. Isn't it cute? Isn't Hanuman kind of cute? I, 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 he is, he is pretty cool. Yeah. And, like I, his story is, there's a lot about his story. That's pretty cool. Okay. Monka, and he's, he's kind of like, um, Monka. he's kind of like Wu Kang, the, the, he, he might, isn't he kind of maybe mythologically a precursor to, I think his name was Wu Kang, the, the Chinese mischievous monkey guy who I love the story of Wu Kang anyways. Um, so we had some questions, something, the user named something I don't remember is saying, which city is this? I live in Madhya Pradesh and I still don't even know about this. This happened in Nimuch, Nimuch city. Um, and he's also saying it's surprising because Dargas, see, this is how you spell the thing that I was talking about. It's surprising because Dargas are much more liberal than mosques as they have visitors from all religions, much like a Hindu temple. That's interesting. This whole mm. um, Darga concept is not something I'm as familiar with. Um, yeah, and, and so exactly how it's treated and exactly what is respectful according to the community for these sites is um, something that I need to understand a little bit better. Forever Stormy and saying, there is an intentional effort to install Hindu idols in mosques with the ultimate aim of bringing them down by claiming that the mosque was built on top of, on top of some ancient temple. Oh, okay. Yes. That makes more sense. This is what's happening all over again. So there, there's a larger story of Armin. So you know what happened with the Barbary. This is what happened with the Barbary mosque, right? You know this, right? Oh, the one, the, the main one, the one that is the mosque is built on top of the uh, Rama's birthplace. Exactly. So yeah. that is like this, that whole controversy is in many ways still like an open wound in the Indian like collective psyche. And mm -hmm. there are instances of people doing this all over again now. So there's been a lot of efforts to discredit the Muslim origins of the Taj Mahal currently. Um, mm. There's, there, there's another really big um islamic site in india that is that they're trying to take to the court to like prove that it's actually hindu and then take it back and take it away from the um muslim community i've been thinking about covering that but this is something that requires like a lot of detailed understanding um so i need to like become a lot more knowledgeable before i like bring it to our audience um and i had one friend in india telling me about how um there are certain Hindu groups that will go into mosques and find things that are shaped roughly like a Shiva Lingam. So basically just like a half domed kind of pole and then claim, claim that this is a Shiva Lingam and then they have the right to um, worship in there and then try to co-opt the mosque as a Hindu temple by doing so. So um, they're literally looking for dicks in mosques. <laughs> That's what they're doing. Yeah, when you put it like that, so there'll be like a fountain that has, you know, like a rounded tip. And they're like, oh, it's a Shiva Lingam. Like, this is ours now. <laughs> I By the way, for a people very who don't know, overgeneralized for, way of putting it. But <laughs> for people who don't know, Shiva Lingam is Shiva's dick. So you're telling me Hindus. The whole world. Yes. You're telling me Hindus are, some Hindus in India are going to mosques and looking for Shiva's dick as a way to claim that this entire mosque is ours. Hell yeah. <laughs> okay. 
<laughs> sounds kind of <laughs> gay. <laughs> I love it. Um, okay. Uh, but yeah, so th- this is um, a, a broader issue that I think we do need to cover at some point. I just need to become a bit more knowledgeable about it. Um, there was something else that I want to say. Uh, and Forever Wait. Stormy is saying... <laughs> secular rarity is saying... I mean, that's one way to spend an evening. <laughs> that's funny. Okay. okay. Um, you know, so it, it, as an example of this, a friend of mine recently sent me a video of how in the 90s there was a traffic barrier in San Francisco that was moved into the park and it's like made of granite and it's like a half dome that goes down. It's like a little pillar. And because it looks vaguely like a Shiva Lingam, it became a world site for Hindus to go observe. And then they wanted to co-opt the public park as a temple because there is a traffic barrier that looks like a Shiva Lingam. And they, yeah, you know, I'm go gonna... pour the milk over it and the water and all that stuff. Um, yeah. And then eventually the city Shiva. had to remove it. Here's a Shiva link for people who don't know. This is a Shiva lingam. This this part, the top part, is Shiva's penis. And the bottom part is whose vagina? Uh, poverty's. Poverty's vagina. So this is literally uh, an intercourse. And then you're supposed to pour milk Carmen, on top of it. you should censor this. We can't, ha- we, can- we can't put this on YouTube. This is explicit. <laughs> <laughs> so you're pouring this is <laughs> yeah this is actually so when you pour milk on top of it does that represents the cum <laughs> i think that represents actually i don't know oh he just like he just likes it he really likes it when you put the <laughs> he oh, really yeah. likes it and you're and you're supposed to touch it you're supposed to rub it and i think shiva feels all of that well, we did we did a we did a blasphemous art of that. Do you remember? Oh yeah, we did. That was a good one. <laughs> no, we should have like okay, so yeah, we should have like a picture of a whole bunch of girls like touching the Shiva lingam, and then another scene, Shiva's face just doing the cum face. <laughs> I think that would be <laughs> oh because. My God. He, if he's like at any moment in time, there's somebody rubbing a Shiva lingam somewhere. So like this is where I mean I don't know if this is fun because that means that Shiva is constantly feeling, um, you know, arousal at all times, every second. Like you're supposed to touch it, you're supposed to rub it, you're supposed to pour milk on top of it. Are like people what kind edging of a, Shiva constantly? Yeah. This Holy is abusive, crap. actually. I feel, yeah, constantly. I think constant w- edging. Constant edging of Shiva. And nobody is even asking if that's allowed. Imagine having your dick all over the world and people cause, like, you can't, nobody is asking for consent. Hey, we should we should do a Me Too movement for Shiva. Like, why is everybody Honestly, just at, t- yeah. touching, touching Shiva's dick everywhere? Anyways. <laughs> 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 okay well this news took a real turn <laughs> okay we, um, we went what another thing the um, taj mahal thing did you know that a lot of people are removing the taj mahal from the t- tourism advertising from india because they're like a lot of hindus don't like the fact that the most iconic uh, um building you know arch- piece of architecture in india is a Muslim is an Islamic one. It's, a, it's you know, so this is like a lot of people are butthurt. Like when, when you look for India tourism, the first thing that shows up is the Taj Mahal, which is Islamic. And Hindus are like, why is this ha- why has this mosque become the symbol of a goddamn Hindu country? <laughs> they're like really butthurt over that. So they're trying to fix they're trying to fix that. Well, you know what's a shame <laughs> is that when I, I have seen videos of foreigners going, I can't remember the name. But this one super iconic temple, I think it was in the south of India. Um, and this was a girl, she was like a white girl that converted to Hinduism. And she was so passionate about going to go visit this major historical Hindu site. And when she went, she started crying because they said, you can't come in here, you're a foreigner. 
Like they were Wait, just what? They were patently upfront, unabashedly racist to her. When she actually is a Hindu, <laughs> she's just white. And like mm. so, there are people who do want to go see those things, and then when they do, they're like, "No, you can't." We're racist. You're not. Yeah. <laughs> oh my you're god. Not actual... <laughs> you're not actual Hindu. Um. Oh, what is this? Because she's, I can't pronounce this right, but Mle Melecha, meaning she's not oh, but... pure. Mm -hmm. Sounds like pure blood from Harry Potter. You're a muggle. <laughs> You're not pure blood. Atheist Republic needs your help. We have been the target of many legal attacks by Hindu nationalists ever since our founder, Armin Avabi, blasphemed against Hindu deities. We have retained legal counsel to help us defend our access to our community in India. We have started a fundraiser that will help us afford to tackle many legal issues, including judicial harassment and censorship. Whatever you can contribute will go a long ways in helping us in this fight. Link in the description below.